Okay guys, so let us now check out how to use uh, Visual Studio Code with uh, C++. Um, I think most of it will hold true for C as well. So uh, uh, I'm just opening a folder which contains some uh, C++ projects. Um, uh, there's a C++ project here which contains a hello.cpp file, right? As soon as I open a hello.cpp file, I would be, you know, guided to the C++ extension is recommended for this file type. So and so is going to be told to me and I will install that because we should. So if you click on uh, install here, what get, gets basically installed is your uh, C++, uh, you know, uh, extension for uh, VS code which is still in the preview mode actually uh, it's it's not very stable but you know you can get started with this this is pretty much uh, awesome for uh, using CV and C++ with uh, Visual Studio code uh, if you search for other C++ extensions uh, now there are a couple of other things uh, so C++ IntelliSense uh, which uh, you know uh, gives you uh, better uh, code autocomplete using uh, C++ and uh, there is uh, there's a C C++ command adapter uh, so and uh, finally if you use uh, make files uh, which I don't know uh, when you are a beginner with C C++ that's something that you don't use but if you do then there are C make tools C make tools are officially supported by uh, Microsoft as well okay so I'm not going to get into all of those stuff because uh, for the basics none of these things are really needed uh, you know uh, basic intelligence we would be getting if you just use uh, C C++ now once we have uh, you know opened that extension uh, what will happen is that uh, you need to do a lot of manual setup steps you need to get uh, uh, you know if you're on Windows uh, then let me just uh, click that and uh, see and uh, if you are on uh, so yeah if you are on uh, you know uh, windows uh, then uh, you'd have to use one of the two options either you have to use with windows sub uh, subsystem for linux which is install linux inside windows you can install ubuntu uh, install inside windows you might have seen yeah, if you use that linux inside windows uh, in that case you can install uh, you know uh, you can install ubuntu inside windows or you can use bash for windows and then you can install gcc inside that uh, okay so with that you can run with gcc like you do in Linux. Otherwise, what you can do is you can install MinGW. Okay, so MinGW, there's a link to that. Uh, this is where you can go and uh, I think uh, so without HTTP, if I just go, I think. Uh, so I think very old site, uh, MinGW. You can go and download uh, MinGW from here uh, or I think uh, there are other places, yeah. Uh, mingw.org is also there so i think we can go and uh, install mingw from there uh, and uh, i'm not getting into how to download mingw and uh, get it set up uh, but uh, the basic uh, stuff is that you should uh, have uh, mingw working uh, and for uh, mac uh, there is uh, like th uh, there is an option to install uh, clang uh, which basically means is that from my command line i should have a way to be able to run this file okay so if i open a new terminal for example in mac right now what i can do is i can run g++ uh, hello.cpp and that creates an a.out file and i can run a.out and it works okay so you should be able to uh, work with uh, c++ files on the command line uh, first of all and if you are able to do it on the command line if you have uh, i i can do it with uh, there are lots of other uh, you know uh, ways i can do it uh, in my computer i have g++ is one of the options the other options is i also have uh, cla uh, clang uh, clang is another uh, llvm based uh, compiler which is uh, usually you can use it in linux or in mac so I can use uh, clang with hello.cpp and that also generates an a.out okay and uh, that also works okay so I can use either of either one of these two compilers and in fact I have got uh, g++ uh, version 9 as well um, so for a hello world script it's gonna be all the same with whichever one I'm uh, using right uh, it does not really matter which one I'm gonna be using so uh, but uh, from my command line i'm able to actually uh, run g++ or gcc for a c file and uh, that works that's the first thing that uh, should be you sh should check if you're on windows run you know uh, mingw uh, and uh, see if you're able to you know uh, execute uh, the program you know you can just check uh, compile uh, 
C++ with uh, MinGW and I think there will be some uh, tutorials on how to compile programs with uh, MinGW. So uh, please uh, make sure that you are able to you know uh, execute things with MinGW uh, so that your files are uh, compiling or not. Uh, once that is done then the rest of the things would automatically start working for you. Okay. So uh, first of all uh, what you can do is if you had code runner installed which I just uh, discussed when we are discussing uh, Python and JavaScript in the last few videos of the series you can go to you know code runner and uh, there is this code runner extension by Yoon Han and if code runner is uh, installed then uh, by default C++ files would be able to run you won't be able to debug them yet uh, debugging involves a lot of steps I'm going to uh, cover them one by one but uh, if you uh, have uh, you know um, the code runner installed then there is this run button up here so which you can you know click uh, and you will see that uh, it does all these steps creates a hello uh, world uh, so what the steps it does is that it uh, cds into your folder then it compiles the file and uh, then it executes your file okay so uh, it does all of these steps and finally you get that printed so simply running the file is going to be working okay but if you want to you know breakpoint debug your file that's not going to work uh, straight away you'll need to do a few steps so if you go to the extension for you know a c++ extension the C++ extension by uh, Microsoft that uh, has got you know uh, details about how to get started. So uh, getting started with uh, the MinGW, this is the one uh, which you need to follow for uh, Windows. Um, uh, sorry, this one. Okay. So uh, it, it uh, goes and shows how to create a Hello World project and how to create tasks. I am going to be following the same things for Mac OS X actually because that's the one on which I'm making this video. I have to do the same thing. I have to uh, create uh, a hello world and uh, then I have to you know uh, do the uh, task of building hello world.cpp and then uh, debugging hello world.cpp okay so I'll do those in the next video in this series uh, step by step I will see how uh, I can uh, build and I can uh, debug and I can uh, put breakpoints in my code okay uh, but if you don't want to debug if you just want to simply run your code then the code runner extension is perfectly fine you can just run your code using the play button and that's it okay